welcome back once again in this part we will start working for our create group option so we will click on this create group we will send them to a new artboard so previously I was thinking to add a customer dialog but it is not gonna uh, so it will not look good to add a customer dialog here rather we can simply add a artboard and then we can add our all the functionalities for create group input field on this artboard so for doing this thing first I'm gonna add a new artboard and we can select this iPhone X all right in here and first we need to change the name so we can simply say create group in here we need to have in here we need to have a app bar so I'm gonna add this app bar Okay, so for that what can I do I can simply make it component so that I can use it and then update the text so I can simply copy this one select this one and make a component so it has become a component now click on the asset directory and then we can see it has become a component so what can we do we can simply use this component here So we can uh, take this component. Here we go. All right. So now in here, instead of John Smith, we need to add the text called create group. And let me check this prototype. So from this one. So first, let me run it. So run this one and if I'm going to click on it, then it is redirect to this uh, Then it is uh, redirecting to this chat UI and the reason is that uh, Whenever we use the component whenever we make the component it takes the previous artboard functionalities So we could do it previously. Uh, we should do it uh, Before doing this artboard. So now what can we do? We can simply uh, so we can simply remove this or we can simply drag this one to our group option which is this one okay now let's see if it works so we are in this group directory and we need to run this one so select this one and then if I'm gonna run it and let's press on it we are in chat UI because it is not working because it is taking the previous one so simply what can we do we can simply remove this one we can simply remove this I'm sorry and so go to this design part and simply remove this icon from here and now if I run it so nothing is gonna happen and I'm gonna add a new icon for this one so we can add a new icon here so add a plugin so we can uh, so we can take a back button here so let's add this back button here and here we go I'm sorry so this back button is not coming here and we can do this thing here we can drag it here a bit more all right so now so it looks pretty good and we can simply change the color of this icon so change this one black to white so white color all right so we are all done and now first let me add the prototype from this one from this button okay so click on this prototype and when our user will click on it so i'm gonna select this one and in here i'm gonna choose the destination called create group here you go it is gonna take that all right so now we have this one see it is connected with this thing and when our user will click on this option we will send them to the where we will send them we will send them to chat group page chat group artboard now let me check it here we go so now I'm gonna run it click on this one 
I am in this create group artboard click on it I am in the group page from here I can also move to chat option I can also open the chat box open the chat box I can also access the chat option here profile page add friend and home button options here so everything is working perfectly now we can move on to the design section so now in here we need to have our input field one is for group name and one option for add members then the create group and then the privacy option all right so for that first let me add this arrow so this rectangle so first i'm gonna draw this one here and in here we need to change the we need to change the border size so change the border size 3 and dash and give dash to 5 and then it looks pretty good we also need to have okay we don't need to add here uh, any any uh, radius here and it is looking good in that way and now first i'm going to add a text on the center of this one we can say create and then first i'm going to change the color of this text okay so we can say i can say we can say group name here and then if i run it we can say group name then we can say of what we can say here we need to have add member so i'm gonna make it group so command g so it is becoming a group now i'm gonna duplicate it so group name and then in here we can say here add members so add members and in here we should have an icon so we usually say it a uh, drop down so the user can understand that we need to click here and then we will be able to select the member so we can say in here we will we should get an icon we can say down icon here you go see we have everything so in this one so we just need to choose so we can simply choose simply choose our uh, arrow we can say i can choose all right choose this one let me see if we have we have some good icon and we can add arrow down or we can choose this one so i'm gonna drag here so now now let me run it and select this group here you go so it is looking pretty good guys so add members and then we need to have the privacy uh, option here so i'm gonna make it group one more time so we can add here all right so we can okay so we can add a text here we can so duplicate the text okay so we can see, i'm sorry so i did a mistake so i need to duplicate this group okay so i guess it is in a group so command d and now we can duplicate it all right and now in here we can add we can say add privacy so we must need to have a privacy option for our group we can say add privacy so add privacy so when user will click on this add privacy they will be able to see some sort of privacy like for pro for uh, for friends or for only me or for public so that's why we sh in here we also should add our icon so i'm gonna choose this icon for here and let me draw this icon drag this icon here all right so now let me run it so it is looking pretty good guys so uh it is looking uh pretty good and now what else we can and uh, what else we should have here 
we can add a uh, in here we can we can have a uh, option to add image all right so for that what can we do we can take a bigger a big circle a big rectangle so first let me draw a big rectangle here and then in here we need to add dash 3 so we need to add dash 3 and add 5 and then let me run it and let's see how it looks so it is looking pretty good but we need to work a bit more so we need to uh, add image here we need to add an icon here and then we need to add a button here so in here and before that let me change the border color here change the border and let me add a shadow for this option only for this option let me add okay so we need to change the border color here okay all right so now it looks pretty good and we can add a shadow here so this shadow will look good here okay we can keep this shadow and we don't need to do any changes just need to add an image here so we need to add upload image here so search upload image we can see we can see some sort of upload uh, icon is here and we can choose this one and we can draw it here we can drag the icon we can increase the size of this icon looks pretty good and it should be in center and here you go so it is looking pretty good guys and now in here we need to have a text so i'm gonna click on this text and i can say upload upload a group image and uh, if i run it we can see this one but we need to change the style of this text so we need to have a different type of different type of text style so for that i'm gonna choose okay we can choose this one and add italic and then add bold italic okay now let's see how it looks so it looks pretty good so upload a group image and we can see so it looks pretty good guys and now in here we need to have a we need to add rectangle so i'm gonna select this rectangle from here so for this rectangle we can say we must need to have a border radius we need to have a border radius here i'm gonna add radius here 20 and then change the background color first we can choose some light color like this one and add this linear gradient all right so now we can say create group create group name add members add privacy upload group name and what can we say we can simply say create or we can say save okay we can say save here so click on this text and in here we can simply say save save and we must need to change the text style so it should be regular and in here it should be and let's see how it looks so it is looking pretty good but uh, it should be in center and here you go so this is our create group page and we have done it now if i click on it then this is our complete application and this is our home page this is our profile and everything is working perfectly guys and even we can go to this page we can go to this group page we can scroll it and if i'm going to click on it then our create group page is also working now i can see that in here we can customize it so in this home page in here we can add a underline or a or a row or a arrow so that it looks good so we can do this thing here so where is our home page so this is our home page 
and in here I'm gonna add this arrow so I'm gonna add this arrow just over here here you go now if I run it so now it looks pretty good and now let's see so it is looking uh, quite good but we can add our dash here okay, let's see how it looks now okay now it looks good enough so we can keep this one this way and uh, I guess everything is fine we don't need to do any changes here okay so we have finished this project and again let me check it if there is any error that we are getting so now let me click on this logout first profile and logout we are in sign in page if you want to go to sign off we are in sign off sign in from the sign in we can go to home page logout from sign up page we can still go to home page and then we can move to this one so it is working perfectly then we have successfully finished our project so i'm gonna stop this video right here